guys, this is Paul here, and thank you for checking out this video. So today, I'm bringing you another video with regards to Minecraft Console Edition, and today, it's going to be mainly about the Xbox One Edition, and I guess the other ones as well, a little bit. So, mainly we're going to be talking about Xbox One, and what is now pretty much the death of Xbox One edition of Minecraft. Now, of course, when I say the death of it, I don't mean it's completely gone because I'm sure you guys know if you have Xbox One and still do play it, then the game is still available. You know, it's we're not talking about the brand new version of Minecraft that has got crossplay and things like that. We're talking about the Xbox One edition that's been around since September 2014, I do believe, if I remember correctly. And yeah, you guys have been playing that, and obviously we've got all the other editions that are on, you know, the PlayStation consoles, and of course on 360, and on the Nintendo consoles. Now, obviously that game is still available to play, but unfortunately, there's not going to be any further updates. Now, this isn't, um, you know, it's not exactly kind of new news, basically, because we have heard about this in the past, especially around the time when the Better Together new version of Minecraft was announced and we had sort of facts and Q&As that came from Microsoft and, um, you know, Xbox, Minecraft, etc. with regards to what was going to be happening. So they did kind of mention that there weren't, you know, once this kind of new version was out, that there wouldn't be, um, you know, updates and things like that to uh, Xbox One edition and, of course, um, the same will happen to Nintendo Switch Edition um, when the new version of Minecraft does come to that. Now, I want to talk about this mainly because I was a little bit kind of sceptical um, originally with regards to, you know, when they say there's not going to be any updates. I thought, okay, there probably could be some smaller updates and things like that. But as we've seen with regards to the recent um, update for the console edition, which was TU58, uh, which I talked about in my last video, you know, we went for all the features and things like that. So be sure to check that out if you want to kind of know what was what was what has been added in TU58. That came to all of the editions except for Xbox One. And I was quite surprised. And again, like I say, we have had the information to say that, you know, there wouldn't be any further updates. But I want to kind of explain why I was kind of a bit surprised with regards to this update, because the actual update, if you didn't know, was, I won't go into all of the details, but it was mainly kind of like a an update to the already existing kind of mini games that were on there. So Battle and Tumble, basically, it added some kind of custom game modes and things like that. Now, in that respect, that, you know, those mini games are already on Xbox One. So, it kind of it was kind of surprising that they didn't bring it to that but purely on the grounds that you know those mini games are already there on that version so essentially you know people of course have got the you know the new version of Minecraft and if you owned you know the Xbox one edition previously then you got the better together Minecraft for free basically so essentially you know people didn't have to you know buy it again or anything like that so there's no reason why they couldn't kind of go on to this new one. But there's still going to be a lot of people out there who enjoy playing the, you know, the previous Xbox One edition of, of Minecraft because it's still a strong game. It's not like it's some old, outdated game at this point. It still is being updated by 4J Studios. And it's, you know, as it is, it's pretty up to date with, you know, all other editions of Minecraft, except for, you know, the main thing that's missing probably is dual wielding. But of course, the mini games Battle and Tumble, and also Glide as well, those of course are on the console edition of Minecraft, and of course on Xbox One edition of Minecraft. So, you know, those those specific mini games aren't on this new version. Now, of course, there are different, you know, vi versions of it, um, variations, and obviously, of course, a load of other mini games as well that are, that can be played, of course, on Xbox One. But of course, of course, those three, you know, mini games as they are aren't you know are still available of course for Xbox One edition uh, players but of course they're not getting any sort of new things to it which is really really bizarre and especially with it being you know it's a Microsoft you know I guess you know the console and the game of course it's on the, the ones like PlayStation 4 and like I say on Nintendo and things but of course you know Microsoft own Minecraft and of course Microsoft own Xbox so it's really bizarre that you know for them to just not kind of have this update on the Xbox One edition, and especially when they're bringing it out to the other versions as well, especially like PlayStation and things like that. It's just such a such a bizarre thing. And like I say, just kind of going back a bit, where I said, 
that you know these mini games are already on there so you know to bring in you know new game modes to that is and not bring it to xbox one is bizarre it's not like they're bringing like a brand new feature uh, as in like a, a brand new mini game and things like that um you know adding it to that so it's it was just bizarre to me and i'm sure a lot of you kind of guys as well are probably you know feeling a bit disappointed in that respect because you know you already have been playing battle you've already been playing tumble on xbox one edition and you've not been able to get these newer versions now it kind of now brings me on to the the next sort of part i wanted to talk about and that is just minecraft console in general so the other versions like playstation 4 playstation 3 xbox 360 etc and you know looking at the kind of future of that and i'm kind of basing this on the tu58 update and as i said in my previous video i was kind of disappointed in that update that of the extent of what it was i was expecting a lot more i mean specifically i did mention this is that i was expecting a a new kind of glide track you know specific for halloween and realistically this update it was supposed to be this halloween update but we didn't really get anything that was really halloween <laughs> themed except for the you know this kind of stranger things um skin pack which you know makes sense in a, you know in that sense but just as an overall halloween update it just didn't you know, t to me, it just didn't kind of, uh, it, d it didn't deliver, that's the thing, as a Halloween update. It was just kind of like, uh, to me, it just felt like a standard update, you know, something that you just get at any time of the year, really, um, and nothing kind of Halloween themed. And that's kind of giving me this impression of what what's kind of going on with Minecraft console in the future. Because, of course, again, when we had the announcements of Better Together and the, the Q&As and FAQs and things like that, uh, you know, they did say there will still be updates for console edition in general. And I was always kind of thinking, well, okay, they say there's going to be updates, but I've always kind of been a bit sceptical of the extent of the updates. To me, I have this impression that there will be smaller updates but kind of going down the line as for kind of bigger updates i just don't see it happening and obviously if it does happen you know if we start to see if we do see for example dual wielding or build battle added to minecraft console edition so like playstation 4 playstation 3 all them all those ones xbox 360 etc because we have had hints in you know in the code files of the game there is build battle there and you know the the foundations for it so it, it's kind of there and we do we are expecting that to come but i'm just kind of thinking well will that actually come you know will will it actually be uh, brought in will you know 4j studios bring it in and it's, you know, I guess we just have to wait and see on that respect with regards to, are we going to see this? I just feel like at this point that it's, you know, this new version of Minecraft is going to be the focus, which does make sense. It is the new one. It's the one that's kind of cross-play between console, uh, Pocket Edition and Windows 10. So it makes sense for it to be the main focus of Microsoft and Mojang. Uh, but of course, Console edition is still there and a lot of people still play it, of course. And the people, you know, who play the editions still like PlayStation 4, um, who aren't part of the cross-play, you know, it's still a strong game and they still want to be able to play that and still get kind of new and fresh content to it. But I just get this impression that it is slowly kind of going to be dropping off the map. I don't know, we're just going to have to kind of see as time goes on what the kind of the extent of the updates are. If we start to see bigger updates, you know, like say for example a new mini game such as Build Battle and potentially other mini games down the line and other features as well like new content because uh, you know, obviously, as we get kind of, uh, you know, updates to the main Minecraft, I guess it will come to Java Edition first. So things like new mobs and new blocks and that kind of thing. Hopefully, we're going to see those across the, you know, the uh, the remaining console editions, excluding Xbox One and, of course, down the line, Nintendo Switch. I'm hoping we are going to see them, but I just have this feeling that the console edition as a whole that we've that we that we know and love that's been out for a while it's been out for many years now at this point and still going strong it just feels like it's kind of dropping off at this point and you know the updates are going to slow down up and you know f i guess from the announcement of better together up and between then and the actual release of better together i guess the beta and then the full release which is out now but it's it's got it's, there is problems and things like that you know 4j studios had a lot of updates that they put out to the console editions in between that time it's it's almost as if right we need to get all these updates out quickly quickly you know and and that's it up until the point of um 
you know, the better together being released. It has been slow. TU58 has been the first update, um, as, as far as I can think of, since the release of the better together update, you know, this, this new version of Minecraft. So at that point, it just seems to slow off. You know, we got this kind of big run of different uh, updates. We had glide tracks, we had, you know, skin packs and all sorts of things, of course. We had the Adventure Time mashup pack that came out last and we haven't seen or had any hints of any kind of mashup packs that could be released in the future. Um, we're just going to have to wait and see. But that's just my kind of feelings on Minecraft Console Edition going forward. It just seems to be kind of dying down and potentially dropping off the map. I mean, it doesn't... Obviously, the game itself, you know, on each version, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, etc., is still there and it's still able to be played. It's not a case of them, you know, okay, the, the game's no longer going to be sported or it's going to be deleted off your consoles. That's not going to happen, of course. It just seems that... Um, you know, fresh and new content just seems to be kind of basically going really slow at the moment. And and obviously when we are getting an update, for example, again, TU58, we're just not seeing the quality and, you know, the type of content and updates that we've seen in the past where it's been exciting, big updates. We just kind of had this, okay, we've had a new custom game mode for Battle and Tumble. It's like... That's not that big to me, you know, it, for me, some, in around Halloween, I would have expected something a lot bigger. And of course, the I guess the next kind of update we're going to see, if anything, is should be around Christmas time. And again, we're just going to have to wait and see, are we going to get something big? Are we going to see build battle? Are we going to see something like dual wielding? Time will tell. We're going to have to wait and see. And obviously, if we don't see anything along those lines, then, then I think at that point we can safely say, yeah, this is how it's going to be now. Any updates are just going to be kind of small updates, maybe just changes to some features, adding like a, an extra game mode, not an actual new mini game or anything like that. So... That's my thoughts and feelings. I wanted to kind of make a video just to talk about that today. Um, so let me know in the comments below what you're thinking of this. I'm re really interested to know what you think, especially uh, you guys who are, you know, Xbox One players. Are you, do you, I mean, do you play the new version? Do you play the Better Together or Bedrock Edition of Minecraft? You know, the cross-play version. Do you play it or do you still prefer to play Xbox One Edition of Minecraft and are just, you know, you don't have any plans to kind of change from that anytime soon? Let me know in the comments below and also along the lines of, you know, the extent of the updates and things for, I guess, other consoles. If you do play on PlayStation 4, 360, etc., what are your thoughts and feelings about updates going forward? Do you think they're going to be slow and minimal or do you think we are going to see some really, really good uh, content in the, in the future updates? Again, let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you have enjoyed this video, found it interesting, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, subscribe if you are new around here. And make sure to turn on your notifications so that you can see when new videos are out. Uh, but yeah, there you go, guys. Thank you for watching. And until the next video, I'm going to say bye-bye for now. And I will see you all later.